When working with the Facebook JavaScript API, you'll need to understand how to access user data in the open graph. That data is stored in a format called JSON. Let's take a look at what JSON is. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a way to describe data so that JavaScript can easily interpret it. If you're used to RSS or XML feeds, you'll find that JSON is much easier to parse, but it can be a little bit harder to read, especially when minified. JSON data is nothing more than text in a specific format, and when it all comes bunched together, it's a little bit tough to see. Lots of different companies like Facebook and Google provide access to their data in JSON format. And as I mentioned, the JavaScript SDK relies heavily on JSON. The most basic type of JSON data is a JSON object. It's simply text wrapped in curly braces. Inside, they have a string, usually a variable name, and a value separated by a colon. You can specify more than one element in the object by separating them with commas. So the string on the left is usually a variable name, but it's pretty much like a standard C string. If you need to escape a character, you can use the backslash. The value on the right of the object can be lots of different things. That includes nesting objects inside other objects or even an array, which in turn can also have other objects. Here's an example of a JSON data file. You can see an object with a string called users. Strings can and sometimes need to be quoted, and then you'll see a semicolon and an array with a bunch of other objects. So the other objects are in curly braces. You can see also that this word join is also another object with a bunch of data in it. So that gives you an idea of how you can put objects inside of other objects. So although JSON works well with JavaScript, there are a number of PHP functions that can easily parse JSON data. JSON has some security features that usually prevent you from loading files from external URLs without some type of permission. And as I mentioned before, the Facebook Open Graph API calls return data in JSON format, especially in the JavaScript API. JSON is a wonderful tool for JavaScript. When you format data in this manner, it will be parsed and it will be easier for you to use in your projects.